Welcome back and buckle up. We are taking a trip around Canada through your taste buds, the best way to travel. Aaron Harris, AKA the cheese poet, is here to serve up a slice of must try regional cheeses. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? I am great and welcome to City Line. And it's always nice to have guests on the show that bring me cheese. She brought me cheese, everyone. So we're gonna take a little bit of a tour around Canada because Canada does cheese really well. But I wanna start by talking about just putting together a cheese board because you have done so, so beautifully for me right here. I'm showing them right now. What are the elements to a proper cheese tray, Aaron? Awesome, Tracy. So I'm, I'm so glad you like the board that I that I put together for you. I've got something similar here. Um, and I think sort of to start with, you just want to choose um, somewhere between three to five cheeses that represent a variety of textures, uh, milk types and styles. Um, so, you, you know, you're looking for a variety of milks from cow to sheep, goat and maybe water buffalo. And you're also looking for a progression of flavors. So you might start with a fresh goat cheese, um, moving through like a cheddar and finishing with a blue. So you get your variety of cheeses. And the other thing you've done really well is given me a variety of vessels for the cheese. So let's talk about that for the cheese board. Yeah, that's right. So you want to have some different vehicles, I like to call them. Um, so today we've chosen some baguette. Um, we've got some, some different seeded crackers, and then we've also got um, oat cake as well. And, and so you want to choose a vessel and then add an accompaniment as well. And it can be um, different flavors, different textures, pickled things, fresh vegetables, some charcuterie, some nuts, and maybe a fresh jam. Ooh, you've done it so well. So you know what, my bags are packed. Let's start this uh, tour of Canadian cheeses. Where do we begin? Awesome. So yeah, we can't do much traveling right now, but we can travel through our taste buds. And one of my favorite things is to try cheeses from across the country. So today I thought we would start with uh, fresh goat's cheese from Salt Spring Island. This one is topped with fresh lemon. And I thought that would go really nicely with another taste um, from BC, which is some smoked salmon. Okay, well, I'm trying uh, the goat's cheese right now. It is phenomenal. Even just fresh out of my fridge, so good. So next, we're taking a pit stop in Quebec. Um, we're going to the Charlevoix region. Um, this is a, a really awesome Canadian cheese called 1608. This is what we call a washed rind, semi-firm style cheese. It's gonna have a little bit of those funky, meaty sort of notes to it. Um, I've paired this one today with some pate as well. People in Quebec love their pate. And one more regional flavor, which is maple syrup on some hazelnuts. And so this bite sort of has that Quebecois flavor to it. Okay, so we have a lot of this cheese in my house. My husband um, was raised in Quebec. He is all about this cheese. It's fairly mild. He's a stinky cheese guy, but we're gonna get around to that later. But this is a very popular one in the house. Super mild, but um, it's very robust. Where are we visiting next? So next, we're off to a pit stop in Ontario. Um, this is a great Ontario cheese. This one is made with sheep's milk. It's called Thea, and it's made in the style of a cheddar. And so um, typical to many different cheddar styles, it's got some sweetness, it's nutty, uh, really nice and creamy. And I've paired this with some of our great Ontario produce. We've got some fresh strawberries. Um, I pickled some local asparagus, which is so great this time of year. And just coming into season are fresh peas as well. And so all of these earthy flavors are gonna go so well with the sweetness of the cheddar. It's amazing. So good. I mean, the only thing we're missing is wine, but I understand it's breakfast time. We wouldn't do that. Okay, where are we going next for our trip? Okay, so last but certainly not least, you do want to sort of save that stronger flavor for the last bite on the, on the plate um, as we talk about a progression. And so we've got a beautiful blue cheese from Nova Scotia today. This is called Urban Blue. This is a very mild blue cheese, but it, it still has that really beautiful bite to it that you expect in a blue cheese. And I've paired this one today with some blueberry jam. And another really traditional flavor from um, Nova Scotia is a Scottish style oat cake and that bite together is going to be sweet and salty and savory from the oat cake and a taste of Nova Scotia. This was absolutely amazing and I wish 
you know, we took more pride in all of the things that Canada does really well, and cheese is one of them. Aaron, thank you for joining us on City Line. Welcome to the team. Your first time on the show, and you nailed it. Thank you so much for the cheese plate. Um, that was a very fun 